What is up, gamers? This is Victoria, also known as XI Perfections or ZZ Cod Gameplay. And today, I'm here to bring you another commentary about a life situation that I've had in my life or a tragedy that has happened that have changed my life. So, about last year in October, my dad was going out to drink a simple beer. So, this 17-year-old and this 19-year-old girl walked in a club. And this girl bought this 17-year-old drinks, which you're not supposed to buy anybody under the influence of 18 in Canada a drink. Which she made a mistake by doing that. And they saw my dad outside going in his truck. And they told him to drive them somewhere. So my dad was drunk. He didn't really know what he was doing. But he went in his truck. And he drove them there. And this guy was beating up his girlfriend. Which is, isn't really fair. You can't beat up a girl. It's really unfair. And it's really like... It's sad, really, too. But, like I've been saying, um, yeah, he got really bad beat up because this girl, well, like, this guy was beating up his girlfriend, which my dad didn't agree. So my dad said, hey, look, man, I have no problem with you, but I'm just saying you really shouldn't beat her up because she doesn't like it. And the guy turned around. And said, what'd you say? And my dad repeated himself. A guy from behind hit my dad with a 2 by 4 Then, this was, in, this was in the basement. So, my dad got really bad beat up. And, like I said, he got really bad beat up. And it changed my life. Because I didn't want that to happen. Like, it really changed my life personally as a person because starting from after that happened and he was knocked out cold and he was like bleeding from the top of his head down so it was really sad and then the cops called my house and told my mom what happened and we went to the hospital and my dad literally looked like a zombie in the hospital it was really sad and I cried and he was in the hospital for about four months. He was in there for a pretty long time. He was in there for four months. And he had brain damage done. They beat him with a two by four. And um, what are those things called? They're a crowbar. There we go. They beat him with a two by four and a crowbar. And they left him there in a, in a back lane bleeding. And this guy stole my dad's shoes and put them on because his shoes were bloody because he's the one that did it, did the accident. Well, he's the one that, that did the crime in the beginning and in the end, too. So then after all of that, that's what happened. And it was just really sad because I saw my dad in the hospital like every second day. And I wish... I could really go back in time to where this never happened and it really changed my life as a person like I said it affected my grades a lot in school like I'm getting really shitty grades now because of what happened I mean it was last year and I'm supposed to be over it but it's my dad and my dad is like my hero and he's the best person because he showed me everything, how to do everything, and what to do when something comes up. Or just to walk away from something when someone's trying to fight me. And, I mean, my dad didn't have control what he was doing. So, you know, it was like, it was really sad to actually see what happened. Like, I saw him bleeding in the hospital, too. So... And I felt like puking because it was really sad. And, like, that's my dad. And, you know, I, w I wish I could just go back in time, like I said, to where this never happened. Because it just really affected me in a way that I didn't want it to. But, I mean, everything happens for a reason, right? Like, 
everything happens for a simple reason, and I don't think that that guy should have done that because that's a little bit too insecure. Like, it's not insecure, but it's too low. Like, this guy has done crime in Saskatchewan, Toronto, Ontario, and you know what? And he's done all this crime, and now he's getting arrested because his grandfather that he was living with made him admit what he did. And he got six years. He got six years in jail. Now he's going to Stony. He's going to Stony, Manitoba, which is the jail there. And I just hope this guy gets his freaking ass beat in Stony because you know what? I'm really mad at the fact that this happened, but I can't go back in time and wish that it never did. But I wish I could, though. And I would like you to share your story with me on what happened with a tragedy in your life that affected you. Or anything that affected you in your life and that you really that you that you wish you could go back in time to. Leave a like, leave a comment, and if you didn't subscribe, make sure you do. And I'm Batman, and I'm out. Just kidding. I'm ZZ Cod Gameplay, and I'm out. Swag.